welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, I thought today we'd be in a bit of a different location rather than sitting in the car. So we're going to talk about what happens or what you can do when you get this message pop up in your car. In this video, I want to talk about what you can do when you get this message pop up in your car dash. Now, if you don't know what to do when this message pops up, pretty much the only thing you can do is call for a recovery truck. Now, it does seem a bit extreme, but ultimately, the car's not going anywhere and it needs to go to a dealer. Now, there are a couple of workarounds you can do to get you to continue your onward journey. I had this same problem with my Renault Zoe. Basically what happened is, I was going out one particular day, uh, jumped in the car, the same, effectively the same message popped up. Um, so I went back in the house, rang for a recovery truck, an hour later, the recovery truck turned up, uh, gave the guy the keys. He literally opened the car, started it up and drove it on the back of the recovery truck. Now, when that happens, you feel a bit of a fool because obviously it wouldn't start with me, but why would it start with him? So, it turns out that the, the solution to the Zoe is the same solution to the Peugeot. One of the solutions I've seen on Facebook and on the forums is that you disconnect the 12 volt battery. Now that's fine if you have the tools in your car when it happens. Most people won't. Um, so what are your other options if you haven't got any tools? Well, you can call for a recovery truck. That could take an hour for the guy to turn up. Uh, he's then going to put it on the back of the recovery truck and take it to your local dealer. He'll pull you out for a day. You've got to get a courtesy car. A lot of messed about. Now your other option is, it's quite simple. You don't need any tools. And all it takes is 15 minutes, which may sound a long time to some people, quicker than or longer than disconnecting the battery. So my solution or workaround is quite simple. You get out of the car, you lock it, and you walk away. You come back 15 minutes later, and it should start. Now, why does this work? Well, basically, it's a way of rebooting the car, or at least putting it into low power mode, and then when it comes up, hopefully, the fault's not there, and you can continue your journey. Now, this has happened to me three, four times now, and each time that has worked for me. I know a lot of people are disconnecting the battery. That works for them. If that works for you, fine, you continue to do that. But for those people who haven't got the tools, and the chances are, when this happens, you'll be away from home, you'll be wanting to get back, and doing this will, although it's 15 minutes, it will let you get back and continue your journey. So I hope you found this helpful. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.